Hey guys, this is Dave with Moneyology. Hope everyone is having a great weekend. This is the weekend market review for March 24th and 25th, 2018. I'm very much under the weather, so this is going to be a very brief video, but I did want to share my thoughts on the market here. So let's very quickly go through the charts as we see them. So uh, tre treasuries look like they're starting to really pull back here. Uh, on a daily time frame, I think a, uh, that... 27 2.75 is a is a uh, good target to uh, in the short run um, but when you when you look at uh, you look at the MACDs or the PPOs they're starting to move uh, lower and the next next logical level of support is this area here um, as we broke the 50 RSI level on the weekly we we broke through 69 so the next support level is around that 61 level uh, which was resistant several times over and I think that's going to hold that probably coincides with this 22.7 level here uh, so that could be very strong support but it's going to be interesting to see what happens with PPO uh, do we find support around zero and go back up uh, or do we roll back below zero stay tuned on the monthly um, I remain firmly bullish on, on the view that treasuries will go much higher this year and ultimately surpassed three percent so uh, any pullback here is a buying opportunity from our perspective gold is breaking out here and uh, that's a very bullish development for gold bulls PPO on the daily has crossed zero you got very strong volume and uh, it looks like it's gonna make a run towards 1360 at a minimum and likely breaks on this uh, this attempt here uh, why, why am I bullish? Well, we bounced off a very strong support, multiple layers of support here uh, on the weekly, uh, ultimately bouncing off the 50 RSI level, and now it wants to take out this 60 level on RSI, which I believe it'll do this week. And uh, this is just a very beautiful hammer pattern and likely touches four, 1400. It, it might actually touch 1400 next week, so stay tuned. Uh, look at this uh, money flow again here uh, volume very positive developments gold on the monthly it just like I've been pointing out for a while it's been primed to break higher and despite the various different fluctuations above this breakout point uh, it it's it's setting up it's consolidating from break above that 60 level on RSI which is very very bullish uh, junk bonds are breaking lower and uh, the one thing I'll point out is there, there's kind of uh, positive divergence on the daily, which is very interesting uh, because the markets are looking like they want to go lower. But ultimately, RSI here is higher than it was when, when we were at the same level uh, last time around. So potential double bottom uh, play here may be in store. On the weekly chart, doesn't look as good. It's breaking below the 50-week moving average, and ultimately, I think it, it's going to break lower. Ultimately, at some point, testing this 33 level. But that again is not a, necessarily a sign that the economy is in, in in worse shape, but rather potentially interest rates are moving higher, and junk is not as valuable. On a monthly, uh, it finally broke below 70, and now it's uh, testing this crucial 61 level. If that breaks, expect that 50 level RSI to be the next critical line of support. Ultimately, that probably coincides with that 50 month moving average of around 33 that we pointed out. But as I, I pointed out here, uh, PPO is uh, slicing towards zero, and that's a very bearish development. And now we're firmly below zero. The question is how long for? Uh, only time will tell, but ultimately the trade is to the downside uh, in terms of a long-term swing. Crude oil, on the other hand, looks very, very good. And that's not what you typically see if, if a recession is imminent. But crude is breaking higher, and uh, it, it just very positive, bouncing off that 60 level of support. It needs to follow through next week to break above the 66 level. If it does so, 70 area is the next uh, logical price target. Crude on the weekly uh, is breaking higher, but I will say this. So far, uh, it's kind of double topping here with RSI divergence. So is this a fake breakout or is it just just starting to gain steam? So yeah, it remains to be seen. It needs to strong follow through next week to confirm uh, this breakout to be real. And ultimately, you want to see momentum break higher very soon. Crude on the monthly, again, looks good here. <clears throat> it looks like it wants to break above that. It's, it's already broken out above uh, that 60... 
62 level my apologies about that so if, if it breaks above that 62 level here uh, and 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 stays above that for a couple of weeks then that would be a very positive development here in crude oil take a look at the Nasdaq daily Nasdaq uh, daily RSI is creating negative divergence it's RSI is basically at the same point when price was much lower. So Nasdaq wants to move lower. My opinion is it's going to break this 200-day moving day moving average, and and likely at the minimum retest this price point of 66.30, possibly head lower, shake out the bulls. Maybe a, a price target of, I would say about 6400 would, which coincides with this area of uh, resistance and this area of support before before ultimately bouncing here. Now on the we weekly, we're finding we're finding that we broke below the middle Bollinger Band on a closing basis. We're hovering above above 50 level RSI. Can we bounce here? Absolutely, but I don't think this bounce is going to be sustainable with PPO firmly below zero. I think the next price target is to break below the 50 weekly EMA at 66, 67. Again, knocks out some. Uh, some longs here who placed their stop losses and ultimately I think you know the 6400 here is is a very possible level of support but if that breaks I mean we can go as low as 5250 here <clears throat> because there's this uptrend here since the start of 16 has been unabated and now it's broken and on the monthly we're still in firmly over overbought territory so despite this pullback and this volatility you know we're very very bullish territory uh, so a move back to that 5400 level would not be uh, so extreme from a longer term perspective PPO curling towards zero again I think that's a bearish development and the Russell basically formed a uh, bearish flag here where well, you draw this trend line here and here and now it broke below this this trend line and I think it wants to move much lower uh, the next on the daily the next logical uh, price target is around that 1360 level <clears throat> looking at the Russell weekly uh, close the week below the 50 on the weekly RSI below the middle Bollinger Band that's very bearish uh, so the next logical price target longer term is 12 I'd say about 1280 uh, it'll find a lot of support there um, might might even break just a little bit lower, uh, shaking some weak hands out uh, below the uh, the 200 EMA, uh, right around that 1280 level. And on the monthly, we're still in very bullish territory, so this bull market is still firmly intact in my opinion. Uh, but again, bull markets can have 20 and 30 percent corrections, so uh, keep that in mind. Uh, it's it's all about one's perspective. I think ultimately this this may very well pull back to that 1200 area. So a lot of downside potential here. Not saying it's going to happen, but the probability is increasing with every every one of these sharp volatility days. And PPO is about to move below zero. That's not what you want to see uh, in <clears throat> in the short run. Daily on the S and P negative divergence, double bottoming in price, but uh, not quite there yet. But momentum is already double bottom, so that suggests to us that the price is likely going to head lower. For our, our first real price target on the daily is around that 2,500 level. Possibly goes as low as 2,450 before finding some solid support. On the weekly, uh, it tried breaking above the 50 RSI level and and it broke below that. Uh, and so I or, or rather it it, um, it it found support at the 50. Tried breaking above the 60 and now close firmly below the 50 on the weekly uh, hovering above the 50 weekly EMA support but ultimately I think it heads lower uh, from a weekly standpoint 2200 would be very strong support so <clears throat> a lot of still a lot of support but I think ultimately the major point is that it wants to move lower in the short run on the monthly basis here it's still firmly in bullish territory so that 21 to 2200 level is one that I really want to see uh, ultimately targeted in this if this move is is a genuine correction uh, the dollar I am not sure what if this is accurate but that's a huge volume uh, spike on the UUP uh, on the USD again I'm not sure if that's accurate but um, looks like it wants to move lower here on the daily looking at it <clears throat> on the weekly it, it, can't, it could not break that 38 level 
uh, and almost like a shooting star candle here. It looks like it wants to move lower. I pointed out that I think we'll see 80 before we see 120 again. And the US dollar monthly here, again, as, a, as, a, as perspective, if it breaks below that 87.50 area, which I think it might do as early as this week, that'll be extremely bullish for golden commodities and very, very bearish for the US dollar. Uh, the VIX is firmly breaking out here. I've mentioned this before, uh, pointed out multiple times. Uh, PPO is very strong, corrected, found support on the 200-day moving average, and boom, starts taking off here. Same thing on the weekly. Uh, it looks very strong, and it looks like it wants to move much, much higher. And on the on the monthly, it's the strongest of all uh, the charts. I think ultimately, before this correction is over with, I think this 89 level is going to be tested, uh, which is basically the high in 2008. So this can go much, much higher. There's much potential in the weekly. And uh, finally, the world world charts, uh, emerging markets look very weak. And it, they look like they want to move lower. Ultimately, I, I, I can see this 1800 level being tested uh, on the day, on the weekly, and on the monthly. Uh, reasonable level of support is, I would say, around that 1750 area. So, some significant downside ahead in the global markets, and expect volatility uh, in the coming months, months ahead, guys. Uh, if you appreciate these videos, despite. <coughs> Being sick here, I wanted to uh, share my my thoughts and views. So I hope you appreciate them, and uh, you know please check out our, our page at patreoncom forward moneyology and please pledge your support. Even a dollar goes a long way towards helping us reach our thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollar goals. Thanks, guys. Have a great week.